And is there anything at all you recall about that day that you haven't come forward with? Because if there is, I guarantee you, Hobson either knows it or he's going to find out. And it doesn't matter how small or insignificant it seems, he'll blow it up to the grand jury. You've got to level with me, Kim. This is no time for secrets. I know that. I realize in order to properly represent me, I have to tell you everything. Honey, there is something that... Kim? Yeah? Are you feeling any better? Uh, yeah. Uh, yes, thank you very much. Kim, you were just going to say something. What was it? Uh, just that I appreciate everything you're doing for me. Well, it just makes my job a lot easier knowing this is an open and shut case. I just can't wait for Hobson to have his little tricks backfire on him. Will you do me a favor? Just try not to worry too much about this. I'll do my very best. Okay. This should never have happened. I wish I could trade places with you. I would if I could. Honey, you heard your brother. Hobson doesn't have a case. I don't know. I'm beginning to feel like we're caught in a nightmare that'll never end. Wait. Now listen. The worst is over. Darling, let's be so grateful for that. Okay? And I want you to be as strong as you can possibly be for the next few weeks. Would you do that for me? There's nothing I wouldn't do for you. I know that. There's nothing I wouldn't do for you, either. And then I heard you scream. I went to the master bedroom. And when I opened the door, you were on the bed, you were unconscious. And Douglas was attacking you. He was so far gone, he wouldn't stop. And I saw the crystal knife lying there. And I knew that was the only way. Mrs. Hughes, are you saying... I killed Douglas Cummings. why you want to stay here tonight. It'll save me a trip in the morning. Besides, I like it here. I feel like it's my own space. Your own? I don't see how you can say that. I mean, since Lucinda Walsh owns this place. Uh, I'm not talking about who holds the deed. It's just a feeling. Can't explain it. Well, how do you feel about the farm? The farm's my home. It's just that this place is its nice. I can come to it. Nobody bothers me. Why are you asking me all these questions? I don't know. I just, I guess I realized that, I mean, I don't know you any better than when I first came home. There's not that much to know. Oh, yes, there is. I think you're, you're a very complicated guy. I mean, well, under that, that strong, silent exterior, it's a very gentle heart. Maybe. Oh, come on. Look at the way you're helping Lily out. I... Well, I think it's, um, it's, it's, uh, very, it's sweet. Sweet? Well, yes, yes, I mean, it was your idea to bring her back to the farm when her mother was in the hospital. In fact, I bet, I bet Lily Walsh knows you better than your own family does. What do you mean by that? Oh, nothing, nothing. I just meant the way that you're helping Lily out. It's, it's, um, it's very... Oh, it's, don't say it again. Yes, it is, it is. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't read things into me that aren't there. Well, all right. All right. What is there? I mean, I mean, what do you... What do you want in life? What everybody wants. More than what I've got. Hmm. Huh. I was thinking this week that I could ask 
Steve if he needs another guy on the construction crew. I mean, it pays very well. It pays better than this. Yeah. And in five years, I might work my way up to form another crew. Well, so what's wrong with that? It's not enough. That's what's wrong. I have a brain, Iva. I got top grades when I was in school. <laughs> Except in English. Well, that's because you don't use it enough. But I know how to work with figures. It's got to be worth something. You know, Papa was good with figures. I guess you take after him. I guess. Never really knew him. But you have a picture of him in your room. You don't miss much, do you? <laughs> Neither do you. I guess... I guess we're more alike than I thought we were. Maybe. Hmm. Wouldn't be so bad, would it? Oh, thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, I guess I better get going. I think uh, our little talk tonight was, um, I think it was... Uh... Sweet. <laughs> yes. Yes, I think it was. And maybe I'll give you a little hint. Maybe if you talk to people more, they could see that that brain you have inside, that brain that you're proud of, you know? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Good night. I yeah. I'm glad that you're going to be staying, you know, not leaving. <laughs> How did you know that? I don't talk much, but keep my ears open. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Good night. Sleep tight. Night. Why aren't you in bed, my dear? I want to go to bed. Oh, come on now. It's school tomorrow. Come along, darling. Just lie down under the covers, close those beautiful eyes, and you'll just drift right off. Now, don't balk like a filly, okay, babe? Mom? Yes, darling. Where's the china cat Dusty gave to me? Oh, honey. Did you move it? I hope you I moved it. I meant to tell you. I'm so sorry. When you were at the farm, I slept in here one night. I missed you, you know. And I, I just picked it up, and it dropped, and I broke it. Oh, that's wonderful. That's great. I just wanted to know where it was. Well, I was wondering when you were going to notice that it was gone. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I know how important that little cat was to you. Well, there's lots of things that are not so important to me anymore. Hey, baby, come on, baby. I know. I don't know what it is. The growing pains. Right? Mm. My little girl. I wish I had a wand. I would just wave it, and then <laughs> you would be better. I don't need a wand. I don't need a wand. I need somebody who needs me and wants to be with me. I need you. I want to be with you. Till the next business meeting. Hey, come on. Stop that. Don't be tedious. You know, the things that are just, they're not under my control. Like work. Huh? Work. You own the company, Mom. You can take a couple of months off. You know that. You need a vacation. Darling, I happen to thrive on business. I know you thrive on business, but you need a vacation. You need, you need to horseback ride. Huh? We could, um, it's spring, we could plant a garden. Darling, I do not think that the new gardener would approve. Sweetheart, at the Snyders, I, you've really gotten interested in American Gothic and all that, but you've got to realize that's a fantasy. That's not us and the way we live. Can you accept that? I guess I have to. And I have meetings, business meetings, that I have to go to. They're like the one that I am late to at the moment. And furthermore, I have a confession to make to you. I would be a terrible farmer. Mm. Honey, could you just go to bed? And could you tell me that you understand so that I could concentrate at my meeting tonight, please? Mm. Okay, I, I understand. We are who we are, and we cannot change that. Oh, darling, you make it sound so depressing. I think it's pretty good what we are. We got each other. We got this wonderful lifestyle. Little Meg Snyder, she changed places with you in a second. 
She probably would, wouldn't she? Look, you're late for a meeting, like you said, so you better get going. No. Not until I get my kiss. All right. All right, don't look. I will. I will be there in the morning, no matter what time I come in. All right. Right. All okay. right. Mm -hmm. I love you a lot. <laughs> all right. I go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs>